Oh god. I'm gonna find you, whoever you are, and then Where I'll demonstrate your failings. What? That that's just the... All right. you get off this demonstrate my failings. That's just too harsh. Oh, don't... Don't jump down and kill yourself. That would be... Can I just... Do I really have to teleport to get up there? Hoping... I was hoping one of them would come out so I could... Drop Assassin on, but I guess not. Is there loot? No. So I want this. Thank you. Gonna need to eat that later. Are you? <clears throat> yes, you are. Let me just. Stop. He comes back, I'll earn another promotion. Thank you. Oh, hello. Guards, to me. Don't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now back to... Oh, that, we need that, thank you. Hopefully we've gotten everyone. Wait, whatever came of Pietro's that door he was making to, like nothing in the base game. That was end up getting like a teleporter or something. <laughs> I swear I've played the game before. Lazy Stride and the Dead Eels. That's a bad name. Excerpt from the City Watch River Patrol report. William Carter, captain of the merchant vessel, the Wid Widower, that... That's not a widow, the... The Window... Windower? I thought it was the Widower. I was like, that's a terrible name for a ship. Windover, I'm guessing. Reports that on the 23rd day of the month of Nets, his vessels was waylaid by the Dead Eels, a gang of notorious, notorious criminals known known for acts of river piracy one i've never heard of river piracy one destruction and smuggling prior to the blockade the wind windover was bound for dunwall bearing medical medicinal supplies food and material goods from the city of driscoll in northeast crystal oh this is quite a oh geez this is quite a tale here we go the captain claims that a quarter that a quarter past midnight, he heard the aft bell sound the alarm. As the weather was foggy, the captain's first thought was that of an Im imminent collision. But when he exited his quarters, he found a grisly scene. Half his men already gutted on the boards, and the rest locked in a vicious struggle. Captain Carter surmised that, de that dead eels had swum up on the boat and scaled the side of the ship with climbing hooks. But how they caught the ship and where they'd come from, he couldn't fathom. Realizing he had no chance and knowing that the dead eels took no prisoners, Captain Carter immediately hid in the hollow of a false bottom ship crate, shipping crate. 
I asked the captain why a legitimate trader would need secret compartments, but he couldn't remember where he'd gotten it and assured me that it had been empty. Sure. Safely hidden from view while his crew was butchered, Carter also witnessed the, appear witnessed the appearance of the Dead Eagles leader, a violent woman by the name of Lizzie Stride. Wait. Lizzie Stride. Wasn't one of... I feel like one of the uh, the victims of uh, Jack the Ripper didn't they have stride in their name as well anyway that's completely off topic also the name Carter keeps reminding me of the welcome back Carter and I don't know I think that's like an American TV show I've never seen it I don't know anything about it but that's what keeps popping up to my head every time I think I might have only actually heard that in the Weird Al song, Welcome Back, Carter. But, uh, anyway, uh, he reports that her teeth were filed to sharp points and that, he, and that she went about the deck of the ship barefoot, which is not that weird because if you have like a lot of people who wor worked on ships, unlike what you see in fiction, they weren't wearing nice boots because when you get uh, water onto the decks, that becomes very, very slippery. So it's better to be barefoot, you have better grip. Claude, Carter, clearly out of his mind with fear, even claims her feet were webbed. Adding to my suspicion, I'll note that Captain Carter still had the stench of brandy on his breath when the river patrol fished him out of the water. Lizzie Stride proceeded to question the first mate for several minutes before biting the man's tongue out, on, out of his own mouth and tossing him into the river. Alrighty. Eventually, the Dead Eels discover the captain's stash of King Street brandy. Captain Carter used this discovery and the ensuing celebration as an opportunity to slip overboard undetected. I'm recommending a, a detailed patrol of the area in case the Dead Eels left any clues. They sank the ship, but some useful wreckage might be recovered. Also, I recommend that William Carter's status as captain and his trading license be stripped at once. Further, the man should be investigated for charges of smuggling along the Brenhaven. Officer Ma Manley Hodgkins. That's a that's a name, Renhaven Patrol. Missing key note. Cap looks like the Hatters broke in and took the key to the legal district. I'm going to go, going to go knock some heads. Key. Dead counter responsibilities. That one we have read in the first game of Billy. Oh, slack jaw, dog. Hey, we're worth more. Uh, I'm not sure why, but sure. Let's... Thank you for not requiring a... Uh... Code. But then what... I guess, I was gonna say, what's the point of having a safe if you don't have a code on it? But I guess, if there's like a fire. Well, it's just a teacup. Oh. Let's go over here. Huh? Alu. Thank you. Wait, what? What are you doing? You can't. You can't go anywhere. There's no door. Did you climb up? Do you just live up here? Now let's go into this little office here. Yeah, never mind. Wait, that's where we went in the first time. No, we don't want any body parts. Just want to see if they had some loot. Let's see, have we been up this way? I heard you there. No, no, we have not. What is it? I just want to see. Uh oh. Uh oh. None of you have loot. 
waste my time. So presumably we don't want to go to the legal district just yet. Actually what we want to do, since we just killed some people and we don't want to have to do that again, is that we're going to save. We're going to grab this. Gonna explore this. Nope. Hmm, I was fix expecting like a little tunnel or something. Hold up. I hear you. But not in here. Where on earth are you? Oh. Two out of seven. Wait, do we have... How many did we need to do summon assassin? One. So why didn't I just... Buy it then? There we go. Wait, what was the next one? Next level? Five. Okay, three more. See, this is how you really appreciate how much help the heart was. The base game. Without it, I would have found practically nothing. Emily Caldwin is still missing. That side stuff and and the legal district is progress. Notice. Cap took the key. If you need a good good luck, he's down the street at the alms house. Okay. Excellent. So we can't go that way. Great. It's good. It's I much appreciate it when a game is like, no, you can't you can only go this particular direction, because then I won't get lost. Wasn't there... Are those openable up there? Yes. Sammy says you know what happened to Johnson. Just gonna listen. I knows what Chauncey did. Yeah? So let's have it. He did a little climbing. Got to the watches on the roof. Stole us a key to the legal district. So we can get in at night and shake down some lawyer type. That's my boy. But what happened next? <clears throat> I don't know. He took the key when he went to loot some of them top floor suites across the street. I guess he felt lucky. But maybe he wasn't, because he ain't back yet. You think something happened to him? How should I know? He hasn't come back yet. It's been hours. Look, if something happened to Johnson, maybe you should... Screw you, Blanchfield. I ain't breaking my neck. Hey, you're some friend. Remind me to forget about you if I ever need backup. Yeah, you tell him. Hey, shut up. Don't worry, you'll both be dead in a couple of minutes. Oh, not going that way. Hello. What? See? Told you. You just don't care. Like if I just ignore what happened here, maybe, uh, you know, maybe you just leave me alone. Nope, no, I won't. Oh, 
It's just ghosts. Smoke or eat? <coughs> now, is there any more rooms? Yes, there is. Was all of them. The do list. <laughs> Loot that one place. Get even with Craxton. Chauncey took that key we nicked from the watch as he's trying to loot some lower tubs houses. He went cat burgling around the balconies and ain't come down yet. Better see what happened and get that key back. Brush my teeth this week. Well, I don't think you have to worry about that anymore. Uh oh, I that's a. Uh, I see that. No, oh, don't trigger it. How long are we gonna put the squeeze on? As long as it takes. So it still goes off. When I tap teleport. And when she does, we'll be in the money. Where do you think we're at? Probably some mid lab, right? Hello. Just making sure. Oh, sorry. Look at you, the master assassin. Why, thank you. So you want to know about Delilah? Well, my uncle is bewitched by her, so we won't tell you anything. I require only two things. Get rid of my uncle, and bring me his last will and testament. In exchange, I'll tell you what you want to know about Delilah Copperspoon. And I'll pay you cold hard coin for your trouble. Come back to me when it's done. Let's meet at the docks when you return. Well, I... I can get rid of, I can get rid of your uncle, but do you want me to also kill the will? Because that's kind of my thing, I kill stuff. No? Fine. I'll play postal service. Hello there, buddies. Feast, my friends. Oh. Enjoy this bounty that I bring you. You, you should probably leave, though. The rats can become a bit feisty. Thank you. Uh, let's see, where on earth are we in? <laughs> let's try and not get eaten. I think that's where we came from. Oh, the rat's having a bit of issues. So do we need to go all the way around, or can we just go... It's just because I don't want to fight with the rats. <laughs> we'll just break this. Yes, yes, we can. Any unauthorized individuals are to be oh, was it just over like there? And confronted immediately with lethal force.
Oh. We have to find the dude first. So then maybe I shouldn't have gone this way back. We gotta go find the cat burglar. Ah, uh, loop. Actually, let's save. Just because we had a bit of story regret progression. Now we're done. Just because we can. Oh. Thank you. There's a whole lot less rats up here. Let's not teleport into the middle of nowhere. Hmm. It's locked. Did I miss... You open the wall. Yes. Oh. No, wait, that's Chauncey. Okay. Like, I've been here already, and like, wait, no, I haven't. But what about apartment 10? We've been here. there how do we how do we get into apartment 10 hmm. maybe it's a on the way out kind of thing hopefully Let's be honest, on the way out, I will have forgotten about apartment 10. Scout oh, jeez. Try to find out where Tim is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Tim for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. I was going to say, aren't you going to teleport? Well, I don't think you're reachable. I caught him snooping around Whoa. nearby. He won't say who he is or what he's doing, but I locked him up just to be safe. He seems familiar to me. Reminds me of someone who used to do business with Tinch, but I'm not sure. Good work, Simmons. Now that that's handled, we can move on. You got the orders from Tinch, right? What's the next address? Crow's Court off Brambley Street. But there's a problem, sir. The Forstalls live there, and their kids used to sneak us food at the back door. I know it's the job, sir, but it's awfully hard seeing them turned out like this. They don't even have the plague. I've been there last week. Excellent. Simmons, you'll show me this back stoop and we'll go in that way. Start tallying the place up. You've given us the tactical advantage. We'll get Timsh's money. But, sir... I'll put it another way. You think I care which door we kick in tomorrow? The next day? Behind each is another useless pack of aristocratic sots and their precious offspring. And I don't care if they all end up mudlarks. Sir, they've been good to me. Simmons, before I worked for Barrister Timsh, I was dredging out the real weeper dens. You ever done that? Ever broken down a door and bathed in that stench? 
half-fought housewives with blood on their faces, swinging at you with a piece of broken furniture. Other times it's just rats inside, hundreds of them, stripping some drunk to the bone. Maybe you'd like to be transferred to my old squad. No, sir. Certainly not. I used to call myself Brave Simmons, till I saw a man lose a fight with a pile of rats. So when Barrister Timpsh says all I gotta do is rough up a rich bastard, cuff him a few times till he stops talking about his rights, I jump at the chance. I cry with happiness. You understand me? Yes, sir. We'll approach from the back stoop. They won't be alarmed when they see me. Right. Good man. It's them or us. No room for heroes in the time of plague. You just do your job and I'll make sure you keep this posting. You seem lovely. Thank you. Let's see. Back up we go. Attempt. Oh, we don't. We already rewired, didn't we? Yeah. Then. Don't mind me. Are you? Oh, you are in Turnbull, isn't it? You want to bet? Come out. I know I'll go easy on you. I gotta stop you. Hmm. What? I might be worth checking out. out. Yeah, you should. You should check that out. Hello. It's Dowd, isn't it? I'm not, you wouldn't no, I'm be not in sure. this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address, but I doubt you can get inside from the streets. There you'll find my journal, nice mask you which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Consider it your payment in advance. What if I take the payment and then just Kill Timsh, Timsh, and don't do what you wanted. Also, it sounds like there's a up here, maybe. Yeah, let's see. Can ah, Luke. Can we steal this? No. Oh, there you are. With shadow, you move for forward slightly faster while in stealth mode. Well, we're re not really doing stealth <laughs> in this game that has stealth as a main mechanic. We just chuck grenades and stuff. Yeah, we've got places to be, people to kill. Can't be doing with subtlety. Sleep. Abandon apartment. I hear loot. There we go. Excellent. 
That's the eviction document. Apartment 10 key, there we go. Roland's journal. So Timch thinks he's invincible because he carries a letter from the Lord Regent giving him legal immunity from the state seizure, seizing his goods in place in case of plague. He carries it everywhere, like a talisman. But he's also been draft but he's also been drafted the instrument of his own destruction. The document he uses for evictions is a generic form drafted by the office of the Lord Regent. It was trivial to acquire a blank one. Acquiring a forgery of the Lord Regent's signature was less easy. But thank thankfully some of my old connections are still loyal. Now all I need to do is swap the two documents. Getting close enough to Timsh to do it won't be easy. I may need help from professional. Hey, that's me. Once that's done, the fool just needs a push to go down. That's the second part. Inside Timsh's basement, there's a device that circulates air in the building. If some material happened to find its way into the device, the building would reek like a weeper's den. I had to be particular about the actual material, as I do not wish to infect the guard or servants with the plague and cause needless suffering. Oh, that's nice. The unsavory gentlewoman living in Unit 10 has offered to provide the odorous item, item and a sturdy sack to contain it. She craves my rune in exchange, so I would be forced to part with it. Just give me a key to a unit so I can go and get the sack when I'm ready to make my move. Do you think maybe that's uh, Granny Rags? Okay, so let's go back to apartment 10. Oh, cheat. But where were you shooting from? saw on the roof what looks what looked like an assassin i assume that they're not shooting at me emily caldwin is still missing any person with information Ow. that leads to her discovery will be granted a where was apartment reward. 10 was it over here somewhere right Okay, so not that, because we can get in there. So over here somewhere. Oh no. I got the key and now I can't find it. Wait, up here. Right. Aha! What does he smell like? Rotting flesh? Wild flowers? Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. Here's one last lesson, for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. Don't worry, I'm wearing a harness, so it's fine. The Empress is dead. And the water's rising. You left a mess on the killing floor, Dowd. I guess you know by now these things have a way of catching up with you. But maybe you're past caring. You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. The, well, you were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening. Surely if you're walking a tightrope, running out of rope is a good thing, because that means you're about to be done and safe. Didn't really think that analogy through, did you?
Oh, so we can adjust. Could have just gone this way. Actually, let's be honest. There's no way I would have noticed that I could have moved the cabinet. Cultist scribblings. This one worked so hard he broke both of his hands. When he was of no more use, they threw him out. His mother cared for him until she died. After which he turned to begging. Then he died. This one liked to carve wood. Once he carved a small whale, he spoke to it and kept it in his pocket. Grains knew of all his secrets, just as I do. This one was a father. He sighed six of three mothers. He drowned one of them, but it was not his fault. One day, the child's grandfather discovered what happened, but the old man did not agree with that assessment. This one was a teacher. She used to teach the children about the black-eyed one she saw in her dreams. No one knew. But then one of the children went into a trance and began to cry her name. Then the overseers came. Just making sure I didn't miss any notes. An odorous sack. This one was to be born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated, so he did not know what they were. He used to pray to them. And we're back up here. <laughs> 